Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the public meeting regarding project plans on State Road A1A from north of Granada Boulevard to Sandra Drive. My name is Marcus Lisicki, and I am the project manager with the Florida Department of Transportation. During the meeting, we will present information on the department's plans to enhance safety for drivers and pedestrians. We encourage your feedback. There are multiple ways you can submit your comments and questions about this project. All comments and questions will be responded to after the meeting and will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 442-874-1. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and to hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney District 5 Title VI Coordinator by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, DeLand, Florida 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or e email melissa.mckinnewy at dot.state. .fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or email at stefan dot k u l a k o w s k i at d o t dot s t a t e dot f l dot u s. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location on the project website and in the meeting notifications. The overall project area is in the Ormond Beach area along State Road A1A from north of Granada Boulevard, also known as State Road 40 to Sandra Drive. Currently, State Road A1A within the project limits provides two travel lanes in each direction. Parts of the corridor have a two-way left turn lane. There is a sidewalk on the west side of State Road A1A. In addition to repaving this segment of State Road A1A, a goal of the project is to enhance safety for drivers, pedestrians, and bicyclists. Enclosure, engagement, and deflection are speed management techniques used to encourage safer driving speed, which improves the travel environment for all users. There are four proposed typical sections along the corridor. Typical Section 1 begins north of Granada Boulevard. In this segment, there would be two 11-foot wide travel lanes in each direction, separated by a bi-directional turn lane. The existing sidewalk on the west side will be widened to 10 feet and the six foot wide sidewalk on the east side will remain. This is an aerial view of a section of typical section one, which begins just north of Granada Boulevard. Starting at 600 feet north of Granada Boulevard to south of Neptune Avenue, the project proposes 11 foot wide travel lanes with curb and gutter, along with a 10 foot wide shared use path on the west side of the road. This is an aerial view of a section of segment two in front of the golf course area. Typical section three is proposed from south of Neptune Avenue to north of River Drive. This segment would provide two 11 foot wide travel lanes with curb and gutter in each direction, 
separated by a raised median. Left turn lanes and median openings will be provided at select locations. Additionally, there would be a 10-foot wide shared use path on the west side and a 6-foot wide sidewalk on the east side where possible. This is an aerial view of a section of Segment 3 from Neptune Avenue to about 700 feet north. Typical Section 4, beginning north of River Drive to Sandra Drive, would provide two 11-foot wide travel lanes in each direction, along with a 12-foot wide bidirectional turn lane, a 10-foot wide shared use path on the west side, and a 6-foot wide sidewalk on the east side where possible. Small spot medians are planned in certain locations. This is an aerial view of typical Section 4 between the Ormond Beach Mall entrance and Sandy Beach Drive. The project proposes to enhance safety for pedestrians at seven high pedestrian traffic locations by adding new raised mid-block crossings with distinct surface characteristics and equipped with pedestrian activated signals known as rectangular rapid flashing beacons or RRFBs. The raised crosswalk would also help promote safer driving speeds. The proposed locations are north of Neptune Avenue, south of Ocean Terrace, south of Wedgwood Circle, north of Ann Ruston Drive, south of River Breeze Boulevard, south of Longwood Drive, and south of Ocean Dunes Drive. Additionally, the project proposes 12 new at-grade mid-block crossings along State Road A1A. The locations are north of Granada Boulevard, north of Neptune Avenue, south of Fairway Drive, north of Fairway Drive, north of Amston Road, north of Standish Drive, north of Ellicott Drive, north of Hibiscus Drive, north of Ocean Shore Drive, south of Margaret Road, north of Lorry Drive and south of Seabreeze Drive. These crossings would also be equipped with RRFBs. The pedestrian activated lights that are being proposed are called Rectangular Rapid Flashing Beacons or RRFBs. The flashing lights will give more visibility at marked crosswalks to alert drivers to pedestrians. Two rapid flashing yellow lights are mounted below a yellow pedestrian crossing sign. They remain dark until activated by a pedestrian wishing to cross. After pressing the warning lights button, pedestrians should look both ways before crossing and make eye contact with drivers. Pedestrians may enter the crosswalk when motors have come to a complete stop or there is no traffic closer than a safe stopping distance. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by April 7, 2023, 10 days after this public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to the project staff. Written comments may also be submitted at the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 442874-1. You may contact the project manager directly by email at marcus.licki at dot state dot fl dot us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation. 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5542 during normal business hours to provide verbal comments. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received in the mail. 
To learn more about these projects, go to www.cflroads.com, type the project number 442-874-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on the project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by April 7, 2023. Have a good evening.